This is Chris Whalen, CPA, and welcome to the Street Level Business Podcast. My firm specializes in business and income tax matters for businesses and families and offers the full array of services you would expect from a full-service CPA firm. If you look at your screen, you will see my website and phone number, both great ways to reach me. As the name implies, this podcast offers advice for those of us working and living at the street level. Today's topic is standard deduction versus itemized deductions, what you need to know. The basic rule still is when you file your tax returns, you get the larger of your itemized deductions or standard deduction to reduce your taxable income. So what are itemized deductions? Well, those are property taxes and mortgage interest you might pay as a homeowner. There are medical deductions uh, for medical expenses you paid. There's charity that you paid during the year or donations. So what if you don't have those deductions? Well, there is a standard deduction that's meant for the rest of us that don't own a home, so we can get some kind of deduction too for some of our living expenses. Now, there also used to be an exemption amount for each person in your family, and that was about $4,000 for many years. The Trump tax reform changes eliminated the exemptions in 2018. Before Trump, a family of four would have a $12,000 standard deduction and $16,000 in exemptions. So that would be four family members times $4,000 each, or $16,000. That would give us a total of a reduction in taxable income of $28,000. Now, exemptions are eliminated, but the standard deduction was almost doubled to about 24000 making up much of the loss of those exemption deductions. So that's a basic history of deductions and exemptions. Many CPAs and tax preparers are defaulting to taking that larger standard deduction instead of analyzing what your total itemized deductions are. This is very lazy as they feel most people will not exceed the standard deduction with their itemized deductions any longer. Trump tax reform did limit the SALT deductions or state and local income tax deductions. This impacted high tax states such as New York, New Jersey, and California. Now your real estate taxes and income tax deduction is limited to $10,000. This did reduce overall itemized deductions, of course, but even with those SALT limitations, most of my clients still itemize their deductions. Most of the traditional itemized deductions are available and fully deductible such as medical out-of-pocket, mortgage interest, and charity. Speaking of medical deductions, I have a great blog post, the link for which is below this podcast, which details many things you could take as medical deductions you may not have realized. I urge you to read it once this podcast is over. When it comes to charity, do not be afraid to deduct your legitimate contributions, both cash and non-cash. It is not always possible to get a receipt for everything, but still keep track of that and take it at year end. Non-cash charity is something that people avoid or forget, and this is just giving the government your taxes for no reason. Take the time to keep track of all clothing and household goods and everything else you donate, as you can take the fair market value of these as a full tax deduction if you itemize. Again, if you're giving clothing or personal property such as a car or furniture, you can take the fair market value of that as a charitable deduction. Many of us give bags of clothes all during the year, and most times those clothes are in great shape, and we could take a fair market value deduction for them. So please do everything you can to keep track of all that you're donating, because when you sit with me at year-end and do your taxes, you'll be very surprised the amount of legitimate deduction that you get. This all leads to wanting to make sure that you can itemize your deductions when those are higher than the standard deduction. So to summarize, be sure to ask your CPA what medical deductions you're eligible to take and make sure they are aware of the full list of them. Also be sure to include all your charitable donations as I mentioned above. One other deduction to mention or credit here is the child tax credit. Trump made millions of children eligible for the child tax credit than ever before. This credit is $2,000 for children under 17 at year end. I mention this especially for people who are divorced who are thinking that taking their children as a dependent does not really have an impact. This is probably not true. So be sure to review the settlement agreement from your divorce and take all dependents you are legally able to. This brings us to the end of this edition of the Street Level Business Podcast. Questions, concerns, call me on 732-673-0510. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this podcast informative. 
Please remember, the moment you have a business or tax question is the moment you should be calling me. Have a great day.